In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make your own tulu beef at home, especially when you live in abroad. Welcome to Queen Phil Reese. My name is Queen Phil. This is my beef. It's been washed thoroughly that my grain, grains of saline cloves added, but just pounded a little bit because we want that smell, we want that aroma. After pounding it, pour it into the beef. And then this is my nutmeg, but you can skip it if you don't want, but it helps. That's my salt. If you have sea salt, bingo. But this is why I'm using tata salt. Mix it thoroughly. Just take your time and enjoy your cooking. Also, this is my... After adding your African nutmeg, add your salt and then cover it. Let it sit overnight. And then this is the next day and the salt has extracted the water. Now we don't need the water, pour the water away and throw it off. Now add more grains of saline, uh, cloves and African nuts. Make massage it thoroughly. We need a bit more salt. Add salt. If you've got sea salt, bingo, but I'm using this salt. Give it a little bit of massage and then cover it. We're going to let it sit for three days. Now today is day three. Take off the clank film. Look, we still have water. And then this is my goal. It could be lamb, whatever meat that you want to use. It was the same process. Now wash it off. Take all, all the greens. We don't need it. This, this. And then this is my food color. I'm using red and rosemary together. We're going to color some of the meat or the beef. Now put the food, the beef that you want to cover or color and then let it sit for 30 good minutes now it's all done add more grains look at how beautiful it's salty it's beef i love the smell now package it nicely and then you can put it in your fridge or your freezer thank you for watching